So we've got line number 20 is Emmanuel, pronouns are he, him from Texas, wants to talk about why we can't actually see God. And I believe it says that you are also a theist, Emmanuel. How are you doing today? Hi. Awesome, awesome. So you are a theist and you want to talk about why we can't actually see God. Would you mind elaborating on that, please? Yeah, uh, I've seen a couple of shows on the atheist experience. Mm -hmm. And they say, why wouldn't God show me, you know, himself? If he is real, why can't I see like uh, an actual proof instead of like, you know, reading a book? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I wanted like to present like the, uh, an argument that, you know, we, we should maybe consider that there is a God, but he's not literally interested in us. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Then why worship him? What? Then why worship him? Uh, because of judgment. If he's not interested Please. in us, why is he judging us? Oh, uh, by the way, um okay you know what kind of like you have to ask me first uh you know what kind of faith no i'm not asking you i'm not following your script if he's not interested in us why is he judging us because i'm belief is a sin but he's not interested in us so why does he care yeah the thing that i want to say is i'm not saying that he's not interested in each of us if we are actually like open heart and we are like, we are allowing ourselves to believe in him, he will show up. But if we are not interested, he's not interested either. So, so just but, to be clear, not believing in him is a sin that will cause judgment that was very bad for us. Like it was always a damnation on the line. That's a problem, but he's not interested in us unless we're interested in him first. So we have to believe in him in order to avoid being punished, but he's not going to go any kind of out of his way to like make sure we believe in him unless we already do. And then he will. Is that about right? right. Yeah, I think that's a very perfect okay. uh, explanation so the, of what, what I the like problem. To say. You're, you're roboing out a little bit on us, but the problem with that is, is I was a believer. And he never, okay. ever did anything to prove himself to me. And, you know, I was a Catholic, uh, went to uh, parochial school, did the uh, uh, ultra boy thing. Uh, I, I was a pretty diehard believer. So, and he never showed himself to me. So how do you explain that? And how do you explain that mm -hmm. to people who were much stronger believers than me who are now atheists and never, never claimed to have any proof of, direct proof of God? Oh, Okay. So I am a believer also, but I, he's never showed up even in my life. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen him. But you, you just said like, that if, I, if you're I'm interested in him, he'll show up and prove himself. No, no, no. I said it's like possible or probable. I'm not saying like 100% is going to do it. You know what I'm saying? What's the probability? Why wouldn't he? Okay, there, there are reasons for it. So, so what are the reasons? Why? What, what, what possible reason? If he want, if somebody wants a relationship with you, and they yeah. never show up, how do yeah. you how do you know they want a relationship with you? Yeah, so that's a good question. I think the the answer might be maybe there's a sin in your life. Sin in my life. Okay, you are your your audio is really really bad, and I I'm not sure why. Um, I, I'm fairly able to to understand you, but um, okay, it, yeah, and uh, it, it, it got bad in the middle of the call. So I don't know if you you're moving around in the house and you're somewhere where you don't have good signal and you can kind of go back to where you had good signal. That would be kind of awesome, um, but okay, I'm not sure. What, um, yeah, uh, no, still, still it's, sounding it's, like you're underwater. We'll deal with it. It's like the the, the big thing is like. That sounds like an asshole. If, if, if this God, if your eternity is dependent on this God showing himself, if the only thing that matters is that yeah. you believe in this God, and the only thing that matters is that you yeah. believe in this guy, and otherwise you're going to go to hell, you're going to be judged, all these things, shouldn't his top yeah. priority be making sure that you already believe in him? If he loves you, um, if he's a good guy, wouldn't that be really important? 
Yeah, why would he prioritize you if he is like king of the universe? It exa- it sounds like he doesn't care at all, or at least he's just very feckless. That's, that's like, what point. if I had kids? What if I had children? And I said, yeah. I might feed them, but only if yeah. they're like really, really nice to me. And if they're not nice to me, then I might not feed them. But if they are nice to me, I still might not feed them. It's kind of just how I'm feeling at the time. Would you consider me to be a good parent? I don't think you're a good parent. I I wouldn't either. So this God is saying, I'm going to judge you for eternity based on if you believe in me. I'm not going to give you a reason to believe in me. If you really, really believe in me already, I might confirm it, but I might not. But at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to fry for eternity, not me. I'm the king. Who cares? That sounds like a kid with a magnifying glass burning ants. That doesn't sound like a loving God. Okay. There are, I think there are like two natures of God. So there's like uh, 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 an evil nature and a good nature. I think both things exist at the same time. So I believe that God is like a creator of light and darkness, good and evil. So I think there's like an evil presence in his throne. That's what I think it is. Okay, so he controls all things. He made everybody just so that he can torture some of them for fun sometimes. Sounds like a sadistic son of a bitch to me. No, that's, that's not the argument. The argument is, so... Let me give you an example. Can I give an example? It will illustrate yeah. my point. Sure. Okay. And so, then I will give one too. Uh, so an Egyptian, uh, Egyptian king was uh, enslaved, you know, enslaved Israel people, right? So God hardened his heart, but he punished him anyway. So I think according to scripture, even though God, God hardened your heart, and making making you ignorant, he's still going to judge you because he has the power to. So, so you're saying that a God who violated free will, so you're saying that a God who's willing to violate free will, which is what he did in the story, and it is just a story because it's not true. We know it didn't happen. Uh, at least it didn't happen in the way the Bible says it happened. That entire bit of Exodus didn't happen, as far as we can tell from the archaeological evidence. But you're still saying that a God who's willing to violate free will to make a point and just so he can punish somebody is a good person? Is that your argument? I'm not saying he's a uh, That's not my argument. My argument is who told you that he, he, his nature is just good? Because God is good, and he also created darkness. Right. Yes. So, so your, your God his, uh, made certain people just so that he could torture them. He made people for the purpose of causing them pain. Yes. So I think that's... What an asshole. I think you got my... Yeah. Yeah, and and why worship somebody like that? That's awful. That's exactly what we just said in the last caller. Even if you could prove this God is real, I want nothing to do with him. Yeah, Yeah, but here's the thing, right? If God could judge me, and if he has the power to... Why wouldn't I worship it? It's like if someone had a God. Because you can't trust him. Give me all your money. What, what, uh, yeah, no. your God can judge you, but his sins far outweigh your own. He is a yeah. worse person than you are. So I have an, a, a say, like I have a way of living. I don't take criticism from anybody that I wouldn't also take advice from. So if some guy who is just a complete piece of shit who beats his kids, beats his wife, rapes, murders, steals, comes up to me and tells me, hey, I think you should be a better person. I don't care what that guy has to say. So here's this God, right? This God who makes people just so that he can torture them to death and then also punish them forever in hell as well, just for funsies. If that God comes to me and says, you need to be a better person, I'm going to say, fuck you. I don't care what that God has to say for me. And since that God is willing to torture people just for funsies, how do you know he's going to judge you fairly? Oh, that's a good question too. Oh, Oh, here's the thing. So, so our definition of like justice is very different from the ancient text. I think so. So people didn't actually know what justice is. 
So they just use like the uh, you know the use of the word is really well. If you, we don't we don't know what justice is because your God wants to torture people for funsies. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not, I'm not saying he do, he does it for fun. I'm saying he has the power to. That's true. But because he does. He creates people and violates their free will just so he can torture them later. Yeah, you said a we've already ago, established he makes, that. Hurt them. He no, makes people there, jump. There are that he can be hurt. So there are conditions that he actually you know interfered with you know people's free will. Like for example, when Saul was called, he said, "You don't have a choice but to serve me." Acts chapter nine, I think. So what I think is, if God has a judgment upon me, so why wouldn't I submit? So I can, can I ask you a couple questions. Here. Can I ask you a couple yeah. questions, Emmanuel? I'll ask you three, okay. three, yeah. three questions, and they're they're very much yes or no questions. I guess the third one you could be, but, but very simple. It's not a trap. I'm just genuine questions. Do you believe that hell is real? Okay. Yes. Do you believe that anything at all happens that is outside of God's will? Do you think that God controls everything, or do you think that there's stuff that happens that God doesn't want to have happen? Uh, I think. Everything happens with, with his will. Okay. So I'm an atheist. Yeah. If I die right now, I'm going to hell, right? Yes. Yes. So God made me. He made the situations yes. in my life that would cause me to become an atheist. He made me who yes. I am. Nothing happens against his will. So when I die, I will go to hell. And even if I say, even if you want to say, well, I might change my mind someday, there are plenty of people who have died atheists that didn't change their mind. So God made them, he made them atheists, and now he is punishing them in hell for eternity. He made them to go to yeah. hell. The purpose of their existence is to go to hell. Why would God yeah. make people so that they can suffer, if not for fun? That's a, that, that's a very good question, by the way. What I what I what I will say is, for example, Judas, you remember when Jesus actually gave him a bread, he actually was possessed, and you know God is like God created even like the devil. He wouldn't kill him because in the book of Revelation, people are not going to be deceived if the devil didn't exist. You you haven't. Why would you have that situation? Again, we can go back to me being a parent. Uh, I, if I just, if I was a parent, but I also had this friend who's a child rapist and I'm not going to ban him from my house because someday down the line, my kids need to choose between yeah. me and the rapist. That still makes me fucking crazy, yeah. right? That doesn't make me a good dude. So for God to say, I made Satan to torture and hurt you so that eventually you can decide that I'm not that avenue. That's fucking nuts, yo. That's not a good dude. That, that that's why I fear God because I know how much you know potential there is or how much judgment there is. Yeah, that that's sounds evil. Thing. I would also fear something that's objectively evil. Your God is evil, <laughs> that's my point. Emmanuel. No, I'm not saying that. First of all, don't put. I am. Out. I didn't say that. Okay. What you've just described is evil. Okay. Take, take the exact same thing you just described and put it on me. If I said to you that I had children so that I could torture them, I gave one of them a yeah. cookie and then punished him for having a cookie. I let him live his whole yeah. life in misery just because I could. Does that make me good? Yeah. I don't think in that situation you, you're good. Because that's, you so what about God? So what about God? Uh, yeah, but... Yeah, but that's a different thing because he has all the power. That's a different so thing. So power means Who you're right? You say, Might means right? Is that what you just said? Might means right. That's what you just said. Hey, that, that, that's not the thing that I said. Uh, that's, the thing that I seem, said. Tell us how that's not, please. Because that seems a lot like okay. what you said. I don't want to miss. I don't want to misrepresent you. It sounds okay. like what you just said is because God has power, anything He does is okay. Uh, no, 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 I'm not saying it's okay. What I what I'm saying is it happens whether you like it or not, right or wrong, okay or not. That's not yeah, what we're it's, asking. It's, it's we're not saying whether or not it happens. Yeah. We're asking: Is it morally good? Is it good that God tortures people just because? I don't think it's good. 
So then God is doing something bad. I just told you that God created evil and good in the world. And it's a crappy excuse. It's a crappy excuse. Yeah. uh, Why worship? I don't even get to my point. Okay, let's say you're making a clay, right? So don't you have, like, the right to break it off? Making a what? Let's say you're making a clay. I'm sorry. I don't. I we. I, I really apologize. I really genuinely can't hear what you said. You're making something and you okay. can break it off. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's say the property can the pro, does the pro, since you made it can the property actually ask you that? Oh, I, so, so you're, you're yeah. You, here, here's the problem with the God made us so He can do whatever He wants with this problem. Oh, is we're, that what we're saying? sentient okay. and self aware? We're sentient and self aware. We're, we're, we we have what philosophers call personhood. We are moral agents, and we can make decisions for ourselves. And so, no, we don't. He doesn't have the right to do things against our will, right? He has to give us bodily autonomy. He has to recognize that we do have a will and that mm-hmm. we, we do have the right to decide things for ourselves. And he does not have the right to violate that. And this is a problem we're going to have with our own AI. When we get to truly sentient AI, we're going to have the same problem. We don't have the right because we made them to turn them into slaves. We don't have the right to violate their autonomy once we create a truly sentient AI. And we're going to have trouble determining that. But no, that does not give him the right. Sorry. And I think you hit the nail on the head when you use the word slaves as well. Like that's the exact same argument. People, you know, the exact same argument people made in slave days. I own you. I can do what I want. I bred you with these two other slaves. I made this baby on purpose and therefore I can decide what happens to you. That's not a good argument. It doesn't mean that it's moral. Right. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not saying it's a, it's a good thing. Uh, what I was saying is he has the potential if he actually exists. We understand what you're saying. You, you keep dancing yeah. around yeah. the, you, you keep dancing around one central issue and that is why worship a capricious God who doesn't obey his own rules, who does things apparently for funsies and because he wants to, that we would consider evil. And we can't, and because he does these things, we can't trust his judgment to be fair, accurate, or right. So why worship? Yeah, but by the way, I did not say God is evil because that's like blasphemy. That's like that's, that's not an answer to the question. That's that's a problem, okay. is what the yeah. sorry. Continue answer Jim's question, then I'll talk about that. Okay, what's the question? I didn't get the question. Why worship a god who's willing to violate your free will, who acts like a bad parent on multiple occasions, and you can't, and because he does all these things, you can't trust him to judge you okay. fairly. Yeah. Why worship that? Be- because I-, I just told you, someone had a gun. Even though I don't want to submit, I'll submit because he has power, and that's a very so what? Thing. So, so what? So, well, so the whole the whole thing that you have here, the entire religion is: please don't hurt me. I'll do whatever you say. There's no love. There's no generosity. There's no forgiveness. There's no, nothing. No. It's just please don't hurt me. No, but there are people, I, I wouldn't say that 100% because there are people who do out of love and there are people who do out of fear. Not God. Because Not God. God does everything yeah. out of fear, apparently. Yeah. No, 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 because God, God does things because he has the power to. And he's going to We're not denying that. Power. We're saying, why does that, why does that garner worship? If somebody points a gun at you says, and worship me or die, are you going to worship that person? No, I'm not going to worship that person. But you're going to worship God who says the same thing. Yeah, but I wouldn't worship him because I don't want to go to hell. All right. right so but that's the thing, what we I, just said. Like, worship me or something bad will happen to you is what we just said. And you well, said no, you I, wouldn't worship a human who did that, but you'll worship a God who does, who says there's, that. There's a difference. I, I get the difference is that, you know, hell is supposed to be eternal and, and you know, mortal. If you die here on earth, who cares if you go to heaven and shit? Like, I, I get that, right? The, the question is, like, 
what I really, really, really want to just drive home here is what you keep consistently saying is that you're only worshiping this God for fear of retribution if you don't. Your fear of this God punishing you is the reason why you worship him. Now, yeah, obviously, Jim and I don't believe this God is real in the first place, right? We, that's that's the yeah, point of the whole yeah, show. We don't think this is real. But yeah. the question isn't, is it real? The question isn't, are we going to worship it? The question that I have is, is that a good thing to do? Would you take that from anybody else? If the government of the United States comes and says, we have a bunch of nukes, so you're going to give us whatever resources you have. Is that moral? If I come to you and have a gun and say, you're going to worship and love me, it doesn't matter if you would. Is it right for me to do? Is it acceptable? I know that you don't want to say God is evil, but I just hope that you can just in your head, just understand it for a second. What you're telling us is that you are being bullied into submission. You are being threatened until you behave. That is not good. That's not a loving God. That's not moral. That's not nice. That's not beautiful, wonderful, perfect, anything. It doesn't matter whether somebody can hurt you. The fact that you know they will, and so you terrify so much away from them that you don't want to hurt their feelings, you don't want to even say anything negative against them, that is abuse. That is torture. That is wrong. Do you understand that? Yeah, yeah, I understand. It, it makes total sense what you just said. Why so I then God is God evil. Is evil. Bro, why I wouldn't say that is because I don't want the, because for everything that I say, I believe that I will be judged. So I, I wouldn't say, I would say, I would just say God is good. You know what I'm saying? So just really oh. quick, just really quick. Cause I understand what you're saying, Emmanuel. I really do. Okay. I'm not trying to belittle you here. Yeah. I really do get it. If you say that that's a blasphemous okay. thing and you believe you'll be punished for it. Just really quick though. Yeah. Just, yeah. magic fantasy land okay imagine i have all the same okay. powers as your god i'm the exact same in every way i can do all the things your god okay. can do and indeed i have i have my own universe with my yeah. own things and i have no control over you okay i am yeah. every exact thing that your god is and i can't hurt you at all yeah. would you say that i was evil no i wouldn't say that because you have the power to do whatever you want except for you i can't touch you at all that's the that's the magic of the scenario. I can do anything I want. Oh, I have all the power in the world, except for I can't hear you. Oh, if you can't touch me, I, I wouldn't submit to you. So the only thing that between us and God is there's a judgment. That's the difference. So I would right, right. So I just so I just want to be clear. Like I, I I can't touch you. I can't hurt you. Would you say that I was evil yeah. if I did all the exact same things? Yeah, yeah. I would say you're you're a very evil person. Great. Yes. That's all. That's it, man. And I, I, I mean this sincerely. I, I really do. Okay. I sincerely hope that you think critically about your beliefs because we don't believe your God yeah. is real. We don't think you have a reason to be afraid. I understand you're afraid of this guy. I don't think this guy is real. Okay. But what I think is really important for you to understand and for yeah. everybody watching to understand is that if it were anybody else, if you take the fear of punishment away, even you could admit that everything this is is, is just evil it's monstrous it's yeah, bad. no no but 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 it says that you will be judged if you actually say black right that's i get that i get like that i'm not saying you said it yeah yeah okay anyway Please. thanks so much for calling in emmanuel we're gonna move on to the next call yeah okay thank you take care man super important call there yeah, that I agree. At the end is so important. I really hope that more theists hear that specifically because I hope that they, I hope that a lot of people grapple with that. Yeah. You know, I, I can't say God is evil because he'll punish me. But if anybody else who couldn't punish me did all the exact same things, I would have no problem absolutely saying that's evil. But God's good. I love him. That's great. Yeah. What you are seeing there is a fear response. You are seeing someone who is being tortured and harmed and abused into being nice to an abuser. I hope you all learn something from that. Thank you, Emmanuel, for being an example for the class. I yeah. sincerely hope that you like seriously think about that because holy fuck, I feel bad for that dude. Yeah, really. 